Today we're looking at Chris Lard, who is a uh, thousand plus rated player, throws real far, but we wanted to work a little bit on getting his momentum trap really dialed in. And he sent me this video, and he said he was having a hard time sort of feeling the power. And when we're slowing things down, there is this natural tendency to lose the momentum. So we have to we have to still remember that this is a dynamic movement and the pressure that I feel when I'm even when I'm moving slow and I'm going to show some of my slow examples comes from my right foot, not pushing off my left foot, but that initial right foot pressure. We're going to see it right here. That push right there with my right foot while my right hand and my disc are swinging forward gets my body moving down the tee pad. And so even when I'm not using any sort of big X step, just this alone has me throwing absolute max distance for my backhand. I think these uh, rocks were flying 375, 380 on a on a rope. I wasn't flexing it. It was just um, about as good as I can do with a uh, mid range. And so, and so the the pressure that I feel. We're going to talk about it right here. Right hand is forward. My upper body is leaning forward as I push through with that right foot. Then I want to make sure that my left foot keeps the pressure on the ball of my left foot. It's hard to see in the grass, but I'm trying to keep my heel off the ground. So my suggestion is that you get yourself a 5 to 10 pound weight, um, something that weighs like a kettlebell or a uh, little hand weight, and go through the process of walking through your X step and feel where that momentum wants to be. When you do something like this with a heavy weight, it's going to it's gonna feel different than when you use a uh, you know, a lightweight 175 gram disc that you can move around and put it accidentally into the wrong place. So the way I'm throwing right here, if I was trying to throw a 10 or 15 pound weight, it wouldn't change my form. I would still be swinging that weight forward with my body leaning forward with it. I'd be bringing it back, my shoulders coming back with that heavy weight, top of the back swing, and then back through off my front side. That weight would be flying through the air, and I would have been able to resist it just like that. And that's all I got, guys.